9 a.m. and we are going to Australia Dairy Company, which is Ta Ta Tang, like a cafe that a lot of people actually recommended when I posted my story and a bunch of people just always said this place, this place, this place. So we're finally going there. We're gonna try some of their, I think they're known for their steamed milk and maybe scrambled eggs. fast we literally just ordered this is the scrambled egg with toast that's what people said really good their scrambled egg their cream toast i guess is what they call it and this is a steamed egg and a steamed milk this scrambled egg is delicious and this milk tea this is actually my favorite milk tea that i've had so far here i don't know how they did it but this is the best scrambled egg i've ever had in my life the bread is actually so good i think i just realized they took very simple ingredients and made it taste as best as it probably can in its simplest form and i love it They're, this place is actually bomb tuesday morning and a bunch of people are setting up their shops here for the day a lot of them hang their clothes and i always wonder like how do the clothes just stay don't they, does it ever get windy and then they just blow off like they really trust those clippers to work these apartments look a lot older compared to the areas that we've been in. Hong Kong Siemens Union, where Siemens Union. Okay! I was trying to say Hong Kong Siemens Union, where. <laughs> there are so many more. Or... There are so many pawn shops here. This apartment with all these holes on it. It's from a movie. What movie was that with. It wasn't Spider Man. It was Spider Man. It was not Spider Man. I think it was Shang-Chi. This might have been Shang-Chi where it was, had the... Oh yeah, it was the sea. It had that one. That's the one. It looks like that. Walk out the hotel and just see this person feeding a tortoise. In LA, we see people shaving their armpits um, off fire hydrants. And in Hong Kong, we see tortoises in a bucket of water. Being fed some lettuce. It's so cute. What the heck is chilling? Here at Max Nudo now, which is actually just right next to Australia Dairy Company. Supposedly they have really good noodles. We're, we're here for lunch. This is the beef brisket with wonton noodles. And Chinese it's uh, soy gao, so I just got this one. Similar to wonton, but maybe just like different stuff in it. This is so good. And the noodles are so good. It's like perfect texture, where it's just al dente, but even there's an extra step to that. I just feel... I don't know how to describe it. It's like bouncy. It bites back at you a little bit in the best way. We're at North Point Egg Ball for their Get uh, Zai, which is their bubble waffle that they're known for. And he has like a whole line of waffle makers, the celebrities throughout the years. Got it. These are the ones. Oh. It's so good. It's actually it's super crispy on the outside and it's like soft in the inside. So the hard thing to do with these egg waffles is usually a lot of places will make it really dense, like cakey in the middle. And it's really hard to get this like gooey kind of texture on the outside while having it really crispy on the outside. So this is like perfect. This Vita Soy apple red tea is so good. What the heck? I just tried this from 7-Eleven. It's delicious. Can I go to the K-11 mall now? This is supposed to be like a really... Yeah, no worries. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, no, I'll wait. Supposedly like beautifully designed mall and stuff like that. So excited to see how it looks inside. But even on the outside, it's already looks, it looks pretty with all the trees lined up and stuff. Dude, this mall is sick. That's so cool. They, they have a little dome right there. Hello, Mr. Iron Man. Fancy seeing you in this fancy mall. A rooftop at this mall too, and you can walk out and see the harbor. That's what they call the Avenue of Stars. They have names of the actresses and people here. Descriptions of the things that they've been in. Most famous one of the mall, this piggy. I aspire to be like him. So cool, look at him. <laughs> Mr. Bruce Lee, right here. Right next to Starbucks. You're telling me he lived to be 32 years old? That way, that's how old I am, except for he became star of the century and accomplished a billion times more, and I'm just known for Starbucks and mustard. Back at Temple Street at night, and there's supposed to be like a little market there. So up front, looks like they have shops. The people eating here. And you're known for like sharing tables and just ordering like a bunch of dishes and stuff like that. Here at the night market, lots of stands it's continuous bottomless street that's what they call it 
This is a mahjong like gambling place. They block all the windows like you can't see and they have a security at the front. It's another mahjong place. It's so vibrant. It's like the equivalent of their casino here because apparently they don't have any casinos here in Hong Kong. Who remembers watches like these? I actually had some. The initial place we wanted to go to was closed so we're coming here for dessert instead of succeeded. The dessert, it's like a taro shaped ice and then this is the, okay there's a lot of things all together but they're all the things that I like which is why I chose it which you can never typically get anywhere else but it has black sesame, the tofu dessert and the sesame ball dessert too. So it's all in one. It's 10 p.m. And it's just so lively here. Like there's so many people on the streets. A lot of places still open. People are having food. Nightlife is crazy. On a Tuesday night too. Did I watch the Mario movie in Chinese here? I wonder how they would sound, you know? Like how would Mario and all of them sound in Chinese? I like, oh, Mario. Oh God. I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. We just have a bunch of advertisements constantly and it's kind of worth honestly so many people go back by it every day I see the same thing over and over again it's starting to burn into my brain now if I ever want toothpaste I'm gonna want the flavored toothpaste because I actually want to buy it because of the ad that I saw here it works on that note it is day six guess where we're going right here we're back Woo! Decided to spice it up today and uh, got ham with it instead. And then also got some macaroni with some um, chassis. Just finished food and heading over to a photo op place now. It's like a basketball court that's very vibrant and colorful and looks really cool. So I'm gonna try to go there and take a few pictures. I also stick out like a sore thumb here because no one else has blonde hair. I have bright ass blonde hair and everyone's just normal hair color and at most maybe like some brown highlights or something. So I do feel slightly self-conscious at times. So sat across from a very cute couple today because everyone at Australia Dairy Company, you know, you share tables and stuff and they're like, oh, where are you guys from in Chinese? Because they asked if we were visitors and we're like, yeah. We said the US and then he, the grandpa was like, yeah, I guess the US. <laughs> and then the, as we were leaving, they're like, bye bye, have a nice day in English. <laughs> it was really wholesome and cute. Off at our station, it's so cute. This place is called Choi Hong, which is rainbow. It's a rainbow station. Wow, what a cute station! This is where we're doing the photo shoot. Oh, it's so cool. These courts are so sick. What? And then they also made this building like rainbow, and there's just kids running around, scootering around. changed and now he's playing basketball with the kid. <laughs> Change. Even the laundry that they're drying here is so cute. So apparently the reason why these are all rainbow colored and stuff is because they want to lift the spirits of the people who live around here. The apartments here are so cute. The colors are so nice. Uniqlo right now and I don't want to film them but there's monks here and they're shopping at Uniqlo like they're in their attire and if you ever wonder where they get their clothes from like I guess it's Uniqlo this arcade store is so cute what the heck all the adults get to shop and the kids get to have a blast here dude if I was a kid and my parents were shopping I would be so happy if they dropped me off here what the hell they have this in the middle of a mall just like a bunch of these blue what are these called again fun houses Bounce houses, fun houses, what the, whatever, what, what are they called?
delicious. They got the black sesame dessert. And like glutinous rice ball with sesame inside. And this is a mango dessert called Yangzi Gamo. We call this like the mango pomelo with sago. Look at how smooth this is. It's delicious. All the Michelin stars and celebrities. I'm gonna try this. It's durian ice cream or durian popsicle. I've acquired the popsicle. Oh, that's a different type of durian taste. I don't describe it. I feel like I'm eating like a frozen actual durian than like a popsicle version of it. It's good though. We are at a restaurant right now that was called the Thai Pai Thong and everyone kind of sits around and orders random dishes of food, but it is freaking lit in here. Waiters just start breaking up and dancing. <laughs> with garlic sauce and the razor clams. Food was delicious, this place is super good. And the vibe's also immaculate. That was the first time I had razor clam and it was delicious. That place also, if you guys ever wanna go with friends, it seems like such a good place to go with people. There's a guy who works there who's freaking partying as he's like 60 years old, 60 plus or something like that. And he has so much energy and he goes crazy. He drinks with all the customers and the music is great. Basically just awesome vibes and the food is really good. So I would actually highly recommend going to that place. I will try to find the name of it and post it right here, somewhere in the vlog. Subway ads got me guys. I got the fruit toothpaste that they've been selling there. It works, the advertisements work. I don't know if I'm an old lady or not, but I found these and I love them. And also these are the best. Uh, preserved mandarin peels. I don't know if that sounds bad or whatever, but they're really good and salty little snacks. I used to eat these with my mom all the time. Today we are at Lan Tong Yu, which is known for their pantyhose milk tea. So that looks like it's just like a little stand here in like the middle of the street. There it is, that's some straining it with the pantyhose. He just does it over and over and over again. He keeps straining it multiple times. I think between this place and Australia Dairy Company, those two places have my favorite milk teas. In like five minutes and I already drank all of it almost. Now going here for dim sum. Lean Hun going here for dim sum for the first time this trip. There are literally so many restaurants that I just go into not knowing they were on a Michelin guide or a Michelin star restaurant and they just, like there's just so many in Hong Kong. I just had to go up and get it from the cart myself because they don't push it in here. But we got some shrimp dumplings and the siu mai. This is really good for the simple, like how it normally is traditionally made. It's really good. Same with the hagao. But the place is a little bit more like scuffed, not I mean, that's normal here. So if you're okay with that, then yeah, this place is not bad. But I would say service here is not the best. <laughs> I mean, that's as expected, but it's worse than the other places that we've been to. You have to kind of be more proactive and get your own things. So if you're okay with that, this is the, it has bean curd with mixed with um, some pork, I think. And uh, another thing is that I don't know what it's called in English, but this was also really good. I think exactly for what it is, their stuff is simple and really really well made and very flavorful yeah it's kind of like the most traditional dim sum type of stuff you can get this is also very traditional in how they mark the pricing so they stamp you with the type of dim sum that you got from the cart so this one is small medium and large for what you order of the dish and then some of them are like special ones I haven't seen this type of paper in forever someone's watching a league stream <laughs> as we're crossing the street I really like these birdies that they have here. I feel like I don't see them much in LA. Now for the Hong Kong Museum of History. I'm super excited for this. I freaking love the museum. They don't allow any filming in there, but it's free admission and everything was really, really interesting, cool to look at. They have people that donated actual pieces of things that existed from so long ago and I don't know I personally really enjoyed it they also put up like kind of settings of how things used to look and be like they made sets of that like an old barbershop or an old 
apartment or all that kind of stuff so uh, if you guys like stuff like that would highly highly recommend I really enjoyed it so I'm back to this place to get the street food oh, it's so good it smells so good and there's hella people here Got it. Fish balls, fried intestine, and beef tripe, and the beef offal at the bottom. That's what English translates. Damn, this is so good. Would recommend. What is it? I'm gonna rate it this time. If you like this kind of stuff, it is probably like a. I think it's eight out of ten for street food. At this hot pot restaurant with some friends, and they're gonna order for us. Look, everything here is so aesthetic, and they said we're gonna get these penguin shaped cuttlefish balls that are really cute, too. Fancy South Station. The restaurant decor is so nice. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Cuttlefish penguin. Little penguin <laughs> cuttlefish actually just stands in my bowl. Last day in Hong Kong, and going to get breakfast right now. Can you guess where I'm going to get breakfast? Just take a guess, just take a guess. Hell oh, yeah, of course, but there's a long ass line today. But it should go by really fast because they're so fast with food. As soon as you sit down and you order, they pretty much have the food for you right away. Sat next to a fan actually at the table at Australia Dairy Company. And I am just always kind of uh, taken back a bit by like, how I could be in Hong Kong and there'd be someone who'd be like, oh, Yvonne, like, can you? Because I'm so used to that being more like an American everything that I forget that there's people, I don't know, I just think like, oh, there's people in Hong Kong or like Japan when we were there too, like that just know us and stuff. It just feels so whoa to me at times. I forget that that's like, obviously it's the internet and you can watch people from anywhere, but you know what I mean? It's still kind of crazy. Also, I've only had like Starbucks one time at this trip and I'm not mad because every day it's just been milk tea. And I would way rather have milk tea while I'm here because it's delicious here. So another thing I like is how often they clean the bathrooms here. It always seems like they have someone who works, just takes, works at one bathroom and for guys and girls and then they just clean every time. Like every time someone uses it almost, they clean it. And it's just so good, it's so sanitary. We're at some Sofo and look at all the streets around it is like ladies market but juice there's just so many like streets of shops in every direction this is just a continuous street of all bunch of wholesale clothes this place is known for their rice noodles where you have like a bunch of not well is it rice it's like rice crepe and then they have like uh peanut or hoisin <laughs> sauce and stuff that they mix with it It's hot, it's hot. The juice is... All right. Mm, it's so smooth. It's silky. And flavorful. Nine out of 10. <laughs> I buy more stalls and I bought six more of these to bring home so that I could give them to the roomies or whoever wants them back at the store where they sell a bunch of vintage stuff. Just gonna try to see if I wanna get that taxi sign again. I'm getting this taxi, this taxi light to bring home as a souvenir. Hey, they have more of these ones here too. These are the older ones though. The other ones are the newer hip, hip ones. I don't know if anyone by chance remember these, but I had stickers that were like these and stickers like these, the like bubble, bubble kind of ones. What the? And I never used them or rarely did because I, I just wanted to save them. I don't know if anyone remembers this, but I played this as a kid with my cousins and stuff too. At Victoria Peak now, and this is the mall, the Peak Mall Gallery or the Peak Gallery, but it's very pretty. And we're trying to hike up to see the peak now. right here. Oh, that one. He's gonna use it. Getting closer and closer to the spot. Check it out. Oh my god, and we're here. And then it's gonna get dark and the lights are gonna look sick. Oh, almost there. This is crazy. There's a bunch of ships over there, like they're about to battle the ones over here. Ooh, cool building over there. That's so shiny. What a way to end the 
this trip off with the view. It's so pretty. Goodbye vlog. I will end the Hong Kong trip right here unless I have more to vlog on the way to the airport or anything else. But overall, this has been an amazing trip and I freaking loved it. Actually, my, probably my favorite trip so far out of like, actually, I don't know. Japan was also pretty lit. Thank you, was also, you know what? It's overall still a really good 10 out of 10 trip and I love them all. Isn't that crazy? Thanks for watching being here. Until next time, Hong Kong, I want to come back every year. Every year. Me, I'm home. I missed you so much. Did you miss me? Oh my god, you did. Did you have any parties while I was gone, huh?